Hey guys, welcome to my Demon Souls ring guide. In this video I will show you how to get every ring in the game in each of their respective locations. Click the links in the description to skip to the ring that you want to get. The cat's ring prevents any damage you take from falling. This makes it especially helpful for anyone who takes the shortcut to Flame Lurker in 2-2. Keep in mind that lethal falls still remain lethal. There are two ways to get it. You can find it as a treasure in 5-2 Valley of Defilement on one of the islands roamed by the asshole Black Meat Cleaver Phantom. or buy it in the Nexus from patches after this event in 4-1. It costs 40,000 souls, so I would recommend taking the detour through 5-2. The Cleverhead's ring increases your damage by 50% when your HP fall under 30%. It also stacks with the Morion Blade's damage boost, leading to ridiculously high damage output. It is a treasure in 3-1 after you turn off the arrow shooting machine. If you are very good with invincibility frames, you can grab it earlier, of course. The Kling Ring is probably the most important ring in the game. It increases your maximum HP by about 40% when you are in soul form. Depending on your world tendency, it gives you more towards pure white and less towards pure black. You can access it right at the beginning of the game after pulling the first lever which opens the first shortcut. This ring highly increases your defense if your HP are below 30%. You get it as a reward after rescuing Lord Ridiel from his cell in 3-1 using the key that is accessible in 3-2 only after Latria has been in pure white world tendency. The black phantom form of Ridiel has this ring equipped, so prepare for a surprisingly long finishing stretch of this fight.
Oh, please. The Eternal Warrior's Ring highly increases your stamina regeneration. To get this ring, you have to kill Old King Doran. Get into the mausoleum either by following Astral's questline. or by killing him at any point in the game. After obtaining the demon brand from him, attack him and kill him in a very long fight, or troll the hell out of him as shown in the video. The Pulse Ring increases all your damage by 20% when you invade as a Black Phantom. It is a quest reward at the very end of Mephistopheles' questline. Kill Yurt and get to pure Black Character Tendency to make her appear on the first floor in the Nexus. Fulfill her request and kill everyone she demands.
Eventually, she will give you the pose ring, as it is easier to get from pure white character tendency to pure black character tendency, and the character tendency is carried into your new game cycles. I very, very highly recommend to get the friend's ring first. Only after you get the friend's ring, start lowering your character tendency towards pure black. With the fragrant ring equipped, you regenerate mana points over time. It is highly recommended for intelligence and faith builds. There are three ways to get this ring. Trade it in Fardash 1 with Sparkly the Crow for the brass telescope that you get from Ostrava after rescuing him in 1-1. Find it as a treasure in the swamp area of Latria 3-2. or buy it from Patches and the Nexus after his 4-1 event. The ring costs 60,000 souls though, so I highly recommend one of the other methods. The friend's ring increases all your damage by 20% when you are helping as a blue phantom. The last of the monumentals hands it over to you when your character tendency is pure white. Most importantly, at the beginning of the game, when the Monumental asks for you to take on the quest, you have to have said yes. Then, get all your worlds towards pure black. Go offline before lowering your world tendency, as the tendencies are always set to server average. The easiest and safest method is to farm Stones of Ephemeral Ice from the Black Phantom in 4-1. You can farm him by using the Nexale Binding after you killed the Phantom. Do not open the wooden door or the phantom won't reappear. He always drops one stone of ephemeral ice. Then, kill all the black phantom NPCs in all five worlds. 
Lethal Falls won't raise your character tenancy, so make sure that you kill them yourself. This is particularly important for Skirver in 2-2. After you killed all 5 black phantom NPCs, return to the monumental and receive the prince ring.
This ring makes it harder for potential invaders to find you when you are playing online. You can find it in 4-1 right before the boss box. or get it as a drop from Grave Robber Blight by killing him at any point in the game. In order to use this ring effectively, you must know that there is a so-called direct hit system in Demon Souls. It means that weapons have different hitboxes that put out different amounts of damage. All maces and axes have this system. By comparing the numbers, you can see that a weapon does less damage at the end of the swinging animation. Those are indirect hits. The damage you put out at the beginning and the middle of the swing animation is high, as is the damage you make when you hit an enemy with the front part of the weapon. This is called a direct hit. The Master's Ring increases this kind of damage even further, but decreases all other damage output, for example slashing or thrusting damage. You can find it as a treasure in the Dragon God boss room, or get it as a drop from Miralda when she appears in body form in 1-1. Proletaria needs to be in pure white world tendency. This ring recovers HP over time at a rate of about 4 HP per second. This is almost enough to counteract poisoning which makes this ring very useful in the Valley of Department. The ring stacks with the Adjudicator Shield and Blast Weapons which are upgraded using Paintstone. This combination of items is very strong. See a German Spice video on why there is no Blast gear in Dark Souls for further demonstration. You can get it 3 times during one playthrough. As a treasure in 4-1 using the shortcut. As a treasure in 5-2 in the swamp area. Or by giving the jade ornament of Thomas's daughter to Sparkly the Crow. I personally never did this because I find it to be horrible. This ring increases the amount of souls you get from each enemy including bosses by 20%. If I remember correctly, this even works if you swap to the ring after you kill the boss, but before you get the souls for it. There are two ways to get it. Buy it from the one Royal Mistress in 3-1. It costs 50,000 souls though. Or, pick it up in 3-2, Tower of Latria, after you knock down the heart. The Ring of Devout Prayer grants you one more miracle slot. There are four ways to get it in the game. You can wear two of these rings simultaneously though. The first and recommended method is to receive it as a reward from Salem Vinland's body form in 5-2. Therefore, you must have killed Gar Vinland's black phantom form, which appears in pure white world tenancy, and taken the crest of Vinland. 
You then take this and give it to Saturn who appears in pure white world tendency as well. The second way of getting the ring is to give the large sword of moonlight to Sparkly the Crow. See my weapons guide if you don't know how to get the large sword of moonlight. The third method is to kill Silent Villain's body form. I would only recommend this way if you want to quickly manipulate your character tendency towards pure black though. The last and not recommended method is to kill Sage Urbane. He sells you miracles after all, so killing him would contradict the reason to get the ring in the first place. Thanks for watching. Check out part 2 for the remaining 13 rings.